Hi, I'm Alessandro Zocchi and in this video we are going to talk about study strategies. Why are we going to talk about this topic? Well, what experts have observed over the years was that students, actually most of us, don't know what are the best methods to study. And we all tend to use the same techniques over and over again, even if they don't give us good results. And why is that? Well, usually teachers have to follow a program that focuses mainly on communicating content and not on how to acquire it. And if they, even if they know something about the best study strategies, they don't give great importance to it, as well as they might not have enough time for that, given their day-to-day -day demands. However, teaching students how to learn is as important as teaching the content, because it will give them the right strategies to become lifelong learners. Some students may also risk to believe they are not good in learning in general, or they don't have a special aptitude or even a talent for a specific subjects, when actually they just don't know how to study efficiently. So, what can the experts tell us about it? Well, uh, over the last decade or two, they have analyzed and monitored many study strategies that are frequently utilized by students all over the world. And uh, they didn't analyze the all study strategies, but for sure they have identified 10 of them and classified them according to their low, moderate or high efficacy. It must be highlighted though that uh, having a strategy even with a low efficacy rating is better than not having any strategy at all. It will help us in our learning process. However, we have to become aware that there are strategies way more productive and efficient than others. And therefore, it will be better if we dedicate most of our study time to practice them instead of others. Let's start talking about the strategies with a low impact on our learning and why they are so. Well, according to the experts, there are at least five different strategies in this category. And they are summarization, underlining and highlighting, keyword and mnemonic as well as other types of mnemonic techniques, image visualization and rereading. Take summarization, for example, that is the act of writing a summary of a group of concepts, ideas, a chapter, or whatever we have to learn. Well, uh, summarization usually is a long process and that nobody actually taught us to perform appropriately. And uh, more often than not, uh, we end up just uh, cutting and pasting uh, uh, single uh, concepts or single pieces of sentences uh, from the textbooks. So actually there is very little re-elaboration and active recalling uh, of the information we have uh, to learn and summarization therefore is not a very good activity. Same thing for underlining and uh, highlighting. Uh, everybody of us has highlighted the pages and pages of our textbooks uh, in the hope maybe that uh, whatever they uh, are expressing in those uh, sentences will magically transfer in our minds. Well, unfortunately, highlighting uh, doesn't do that. Uh, it's quite an illusion of knowledge. However, Highlighting single words once in a while, the most important concepts, is important and is a good technique, but just to remind us that those are the words we have to um, reference to in order to deeply understand and study uh, the concepts they are expressing. So per se, highlighting and underlining is not a study strategy at all, it's just a way to organize the material that we have to understand better and use uh, through different and more productive techniques. Keyword mnemonic, as well as other mnemonic techniques, such as the famous memory palace, have also low impact in learning. They can be powerful tools whenever we have to uh, memorize technical data, lists of items, chronological orders, and so on. So they can be helpful whenever we have to organize big amounts of materials, but that's only the first step for a deeper learning. 
Image visualization, that is imagining in our mind, like in a movie or in a cartoon, the processes that we have to learn, uh, has low impact in our learning. That's because probably um, it's not a technique very easy to be applied, it needs a lot of practice, and many concepts are too abstract to be easily visualized. It's better to use other techniques then. Last but not least in this list of uh, low impact study strategies is rereading. Many students all over the world think that if they read again a chapter in a book, for example, after it has been understood, that will help them to memorize the concepts better. Unfortunately, we are very far from the truth, because rereading is not an active re-elaboration of the concepts. It's not learning. We are not testing our memory, we are not testing our ability to recall the information and explain the, um, and explain the data in a, in a correct way. It's pure illu illusion of knowledge, unfortunately. That's it for this part. In the next video, we'll see what are the study strategies uh, with a medium efficacy on our learning, and therefore worth of being applied uh, more often.